Today, at 76, Jeanette's greatest passion is planting and tending her flowers. Every spring, she waits with anticipation for the first warm day so she can go outside and begin working in her yard. Her passion has created beauty, a beauty that many enjoy as they drive past her house or walk by her yard. She once told me that flowers are like people. You have to nourish them, give them love, have patience, and they'll always grow. And now what elder kind? A white one. A white one. Yeah, you set that down. You've got a white one. You say, Ma? Like all the flowers here? You like all the flowers here? Sure. Does it make you happy? Looks good. Is Mr. O.D. here? He usually gives uh, Ma a discount. Dad. Oh, Dad. Dad. That's 20. One, two, three, four. This is ours. This is ours. Okay. That's one, two, three, four. I think it's a good thing that she has the flowers and they're very, very pretty. It gives her a lot to do and to think about. It keeps her really busy, sometimes maybe too busy, but they're so pretty all around her yard. It's nice that she has that interest. She has a beautiful yard. She really takes care of her yard real, real well. I know she got yard of the month a few times and I know it's a uh, she helps me in my yard. She comes out here and plants all my flowers for me, you know. You know, she helps me do that. And I always uh, asked her, I says, well, you don't have to do this. I could do this. But she always tells me, she says, Jeff, if I didn't love doing this, I wouldn't be doing this. She always told me and she says, I just, I don't know what, what it is. She says, uh, I just love doing this. You know, she just loves her flowers tremendously. And I think if she didn't have a yard or anything to plant flowers, uh, she'd be pretty bored, you know, wouldn't have nothing to do. 
I mean, it's like that's all she practically lives for is just the next growing season. She can't wait to get out there and plant her flowers and pull out the weeds and and she just likes sitting in her yard and enjoying all her beautiful flowers and talking about them and I guess she even talks to them, tries to help make them grow a little bit better, you know. <laughs> My mom's passion for flowers and her gardening I think comes back probably inherited from down the line that farmer um, heritage, the German heritage, get your hands dirty, um, to grow the beautiful things and to see the yard so beautiful in color. I mean, I, I, I enjoy that myself and flowers make you feel better. It's a good, clean hobby, keeps her busy and keeps her active. Um, I think she'd be really happy in Florida where she could have them all year round, but um, it, it's, it, I remember though too as a child, heaven forbid you would step on her tulips or something if you were playing in the yard. I mean she always, always had flowers in a beautiful yard even as a kid and I can see her out there weeding and taking care of them. Yeah, I like planting flowers and making it pretty. In 1956, my dad built this house, and in the same year my mother and dad, my two sisters, and I moved in. Of course, it looked nothing like it does now. It was not landscaped, there were no trees, no grass, and especially no flowers. But over the years, that changed because of my mother. In 1956, she planted her first flower, probably in a pot that she stood in the front porch, or maybe in a little flower bed behind the garage. Every year she had more beautiful flowers and more flower beds. She turned her yard into the beautiful garden that it is today. This is a love story not between two people, but it's about a woman, her yard, and the love of her flowers. She is my mother, Jeanette Stefile. To her, I dedicate this video. I don't know, I just do. It's just a gift that was given to me. It was, by every, who? By God. By God? Well, yeah, that was a good you know, gift. Yeah. Every, everybody has some kind of a hobby, and I just happen to do flowers. You do? Good. Yeah. When did you first start doing flowers? When did you discover your love of flowers? When we, when we moved here on... Um, built this house on 203 Maple Street and what year was that about 1956 something like that yeah. Jeff was the way 14. we figured it yeah Jeff was Jeff's 14 age, yeah. Jeff was born here yeah yeah what do you think about 
when you're digging in your garden and planting those flowers and weeding and, and stuff like that. <laughs> when I always talk to my flowers. I said, now you go and grow nice and pretty for me. I just enjoyed doing that. I, I don't know, I dig a hole and put the flower in and give them some nice water and and just hope that they grow. Better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just oh, kind of yeah. relaxes you, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What's uh, What's your favorite flower? Oh, the impatience. Impatience. And how come? Well, because <laughs> they're they're my, they're my favorite flower too. They're They're a flower, you know, of many colors, and they bloom constantly, you know, yeah. and. Uh, that's a What's your uh, favorite colors? Oh God! Oh, that violet color and red. And any other favorite colors? The, and the white ones. It's I don't really have no special really uh, color. I just love all colors. The bright colors, you know. The bright colors? The bright colors. They show off more. Yeah, they really stand yeah. out. Yeah. Like, you know, the red and white, that's pretty yeah. there, you know. Yeah. You got, uh, I noticed that you got so many uh, lawn statues here and ornaments and all that. And you got any particular favors that's out in your yard now? No, well, not really. I've got to add some more. My little girl's bend overs are neat. neat, neat. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to go around and uh, show the bendovers later. Yeah. Uh, get a close up of them. But the mama one must be <laughs> down in the basement. I was going to go down to the tea and get it. Oh, the bendover? Oh, that's right. Yeah, we the have mama to get that one. one up yet, don't we? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, well, you've got, yeah, you've got so many nice flowers and ornaments. Well, here. well, I can see when I got the, the mama and the two, her two children, the bendovers. Oh. I saw them up north, and that's how come I, I bought and brought them Oh, home you brought here. them back from up north? Yeah, I huh? brought them back yeah. from up north. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's nice. Then, uh, out of all the flowers you've got here, if you could be a flower, which one would you be? Oh, God. <laughs> you asked me that, and I don't know. A petuni. You'd be a petuni? Why? Yeah, I don't know, because... They're just pretty flowers, and I just like them. And they're kind of dainty and yeah. delicate, and and you know those kind of bloom all the time too, and don't they? The yeah, petunias. yeah, they they've been blooming. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so digging in the dirt, uh, you want to be a petuni, and uh, and patience are your favorite flower. Let's see my little pixie. Oh yeah, let's see your little pixie. I should have. <laughs> I should have, uh, my skunk over there, I should be holding that and have it say hi. Yeah, turn it around, hold it up, let me zoom in on it. He does my raking for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I don't have to rake this fall. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute, huh? Yeah. See, what do you need a man around for when you get a pixie? Yeah. <laughs> you do all the work. Oh, so God. My mother's garden. Her heart is like her garden, old-fashioned, quaint, and sweet, with here a wealth of blossoms, and there a still retreat. Sweet violets are hiding, we know as we pass by, and lilies, pure as angel thoughts, are opening somewhere nigh. Forget-me-nots there linger, to full protection brought, in their bloom purple pansies, in many a tender thought. There love's own roses blossom, as from enchanted ground, and lavish perfume exquisite the whole glad year around. And in that quiet garden, the garden of her heart, songbirds are always singing their songs of cheer apart. And from it floats forever, or coming sin and strife, Sweet as the breath of roses blown, the fragrance of her life.
For September 1998, Jeanette won the Art of the Month again. She may have slowed down a little in some areas of her life, but her energy for planting flowers and making her yard look beautiful has remained.